Hey, what's up everybody? It's KB here and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the new FadeOS version. FadeOS version 13. So, I will put link in the description for the official website. From here, you can download this new version of the FadeOS. Don't get confused by this new look of the website. Just click on this download icon and after that, you can choose for which PC or for virtual machine you want to download and just in case if you don't know what fade os is fade os is a chrome os for all pcs and laptops uh, unlike chrome os chrome os is made for chromebooks they come pre-installed with chromebooks you know but uh, if you have an old laptop or pc and you want to use a chrome os on it it's the best option the fade os because it has all the features what chrome os offers even the android support is here so it's the best option if you want to get a chrome os onto your laptop or pc so uh, here you can download the chrome os for pc any pc any laptop and also download for vmware so you can test this before you actually install it on your actual pc and there is fade os for you which means uh, this fade os is also available for chromebooks so you can choose which chromebook you have and download the fade os for that chromebook but if you're just using windows pc or something like that you can just download the fade os for pc and today i'm trying this for the first time and I'm going to try this on virtual machine. Uh, you can download it from here and click on what's new to know what's new in this. So the biggest update in this version is the ability to use local account, offline account. So it's a rare or extremely rare thing to have a offline account system on a Chrome OS because Chrome OS is all about online. It's a browser based operating system. So you'll need to have a, you know, online account, Google account or a Fade OS account or something like that. But uh, Fade OS did it. Now you can use a Chrome OS without needing to have a online account. So I will put a link in the description for the official site from here. You can read what's new in it and all that. So now let's just check out the new version of Fade OS. Let me boot it up. All right, I'm booting up. I'm using the virtual machine, as I said. And first we see a new logo. Fast, quick, minimalistic logo. Before this, they had, I don't know what kind of logo they had, but that wasn't good. Now it looks clean. And here we are at the setup page. Choose language and all that. Get started. Connect your internet. I'm connected to Ethernet, so no need to. And agree to the license agreement. All right. Privacy statement agreement, something like that. Now, this is the cool thing I'm about to show you. All right. So here we can use a FedOS account if we have one you can sign in actually i have one and uh, I, but i don't want to use the FedOS account i don't want to use the online account so in that case i can just click on use local account you can see at the bottom so yeah you don't need any account but if you have an account you can sign in but let's say you don't want to create a new account you don't have one so just click on use local account and again click on use local account and here create a local account give me a second and now once you have filled up all the things it's normal choose a password choose a username and click next and you're done yay you don't need any account turn the off get started and here we are first let me actually change the resolution of this so you'll see it in full screen all right this should be enough all right now we have good looking fade os all right so first uh you know this is like the best of best chrome os you can get for your pc or laptop if you don't have a chromebook so that's that and uh, another thing you can run android apps on it so first i'm going to open that android thingy 
launch and here we are android apps now you can install apk and all that but if you want to uh let's say install a google play store google services you can go to the store and uh, just wait it's loading and after that click on made by fade os all right and we have these uh, options here just click on configure open g apps okay add to fade os install this application so basically this application will allow you to install google play store and all that so obviously to use a google play store you'll need to have a google account which you can just sign in uh, i'll show you give me a second before that i'm gonna explain you that how to actually install this so you know first you need to make a bootable usb drive i have made a video on the uh, this actually and i showed you guys how to install a fade os on any pc so first make a bootable usb drive and i will put link in the description for that video from there you can learn how to install this on your pc it's easy and uh, yeah the installation process is the same you just need to use this installer add to fade os and after that you can uh, just watch the tutorial i have made a tutorial on it so it's very long tutorial because i was trying to explain everything on that but if you want me to make a new tutorial for this uh, i'm ready okay i'll try to make it short yeah this is a pretty good feature that you don't have to mess around with any kind of you know terminal it's like you just choose your drive and all that it's easy to use installer so you can easily install the fade os that's why it's uh, it's good for even a new person who doesn't even install uh, operating system so yeah uh, so now let's go ahead and install the uh, google apps okay click on open configure uh g apps okay that you just downloaded hit next and here uh, you have to choose install if you are installing it for the first time so if you want to uninstall or if there is any problem with android subsystem the android system in it then you can click on uninstall but i'm doing it for the first time i don't have any problem so i'm just going to click on install and hit next and uh, installation options and all that okay just put it to default click on install and it will automatically install the google play store and from there you can download apps and all that you know just like you do on chrome books so yeah only thing different here is that you know this chrome os is made for everybody you don't need chromebook to actually use chrome os so with this version of uh, fade os uh, it updates the actual chrome version i think it's uh, 94 or something and comes with the new features and all that so yeah it's a pretty good uh, chrome os distro if you don't have a chromebook but you want to try it on your laptop or pc uh, if you have a really old laptop which does not run uh the like windows then you can try this out this is pretty cool so let me reboot this actually so i can see all the you know google play store thingies and all that so there is the new logo let me sign in uh, let me show you my password actually <laughs> it's one two three four five okay hit enter and it's it's like really fast operating system what do you expect from the chrome os it's it's the fastest operating system out there okay it has a android support it has a linux support and all that so yeah that's that okay now we have the google play store from here you we can download the uh, all the games and apps and all that so it's updating so that's why it got closed so now we have the updated play store now i can sign in with my google account yeah just like you do on your phone uh, yeah so 
Yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. You know, uh, the ability to use a Chrome OS without account. This is amazing. Just like in Windows, you know, Windows 10, 7. Uh, I think even in Windows 11 is uh, possible to use a local account. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah uh, that is it hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for the official website from there you can download this try it on the virtual machine even in virtual machine it feels super fast really look at that i'm gonna open the files i'm gonna open the chrome look at that it's it's like really smooth fast so yeah you can also install linux applications on it it's, it's like the all-in-one operating system which does everything. Since you can install Linux applications on Chrome OS, you can also technically install some Windows applications too. So this is like really good operating system. So I'm not going to say it's going to be as good as the Windows, but Chrome OS is different operating system we cannot compare it with windows so it's a browser based operating system it is fast 100 times faster than the windows actually <laughs> you can say that so yeah i'm not gonna talk too much if you want me to make a tutorial on how to install it on a old laptop or pc then i'll do it just do the comment in the comments and uh, before you actually install it, just try it on virtual machine. It works really well, all right? The only thing is that you'll need a VMware virtual machine. Actually, I think VMware player is actually free. I think you can get that too. It also works with VMware player. So you can get that and use it on your PC. It's, it's pretty good. That's it. I'm talking too much. That's it. I will put link in the description for the official site. From there, you can download this version of the Fair OS Plus. You can read what's new in it. So yeah, go there and have fun with this OS.